Marketing your content, your articles as products. Build it and they will come is not a phrase that applies here. If you've spent ages working on your content and creating something you're really proud of, then you need to get it out there and market it in order to ensure that it gets seen. Remember, your visitors need to encounter your post several times before they're likely to consider themselves fans. It's your job to ensure that that happens. In this video, you'll discover how to market a blog post just like a product. Using SEO is a fantastic way to bring people to your site. And by writing great content, building lots of links, and designing your site in a spider-friendly way, you can get a lot more traffic from visitors who are looking for the information or the service you provide. On its own though, SEO can only do so much, and is only one form of promotion. When marketing anything, you need to have something to sell. And you need to make sure that your offering stands out among the crowd and piques attention. This is the way you need to be thinking when you're trying to promote your site. And it's what can really make the difference between a site people can find and one that people can get excited about. In short, you need to start viewing your articles as products. And that means that you should be doing everything you can to sell each one in the same way business trying to sell any item or service. This simple cognitive shift will make a huge difference to the way you approach your content and ultimately to the success of your brand as a whole. Your blog is something you created. It has value. And now it's time that you share that with your audience. Here, we will look at how you can go about selling your site products and how this can help you set your site apart. The title. When you try and sell an ebook through a website or a course, Usually, you will be using a landing page that will utilize a sales script to try and make people buy what you have to offer. This might read something like, Finally, a simple guide to making money online. Here's my story of how I made thousands overnight. This is a great way to sell a product because it grabs attention. It promises results and it has a personal interest element to it. And that's how you should be writing each of your article titles. By creating it the same way you'd create a sales pitch and using all the same tropes. Don't be afraid of long, bombastic titles. They sell. For little inspiration, we can look to the world of clickbait. These are articles that have titles that encourage curiosity and that sound amazing and thereby bait people to click them. Unfortunately, most clickbait articles don't offer the value to match the promise. This is where you're going to be different. Your post really will be good, but you're going to be a little more aggressive in demonstrating this in your titles. Focus on the emotional aspect the unique aspect, the shocking aspect, and make it apparent from your title that this is something very unique. The presentation. The way you present your content is just as important as the packaging on a new line of toys for Hasbro. If you want people to choose to read your content over another site's content, then you need to use the best images and the best layout to make it a joy to read, and so that it really catches the eye. Give it a layout more closely resembling a magazine article than your typical blog post and people will notice the difference. Use high quality images, use different fonts, and break your content up into paragraphs and sections. You might even choose to get inventive. For example, you could experiment with ergodic text to make the text wrap and move around in different ways. Presentation is powerful, not only for helping to sell the content and make people want to keep reading, but also to help you create even more authority and make your brand more attractive and interesting than the competition. USP USP in business means unique selling point, and this describes a factor that makes a product different from others on the market. If your product is exactly the same as everyone else's, then you don't give your potential customers any incentive to choose you over the competition. The same goes for your articles. So don't just rewrite the news as you read it or regurgitate the same lists of tips. Instead, think about how you can take a different angle on the story. Bring your own experience to the mix or relate the topic to something different. That way, you give people a reason to read what you've written, even when they've heard the news already elsewhere. Promotion. SEO will help people find your articles, but you should also try and promote your content and generate hype for it in the same way that Apple might generate buzz for its next iPhone. You can do this in a number of ways, but generally, this means talking about your article on forums, discussing it through social media channels, and showing it on YouTube. That's right. Not just posting links, but actually talking about the article and demonstrating why people should care about it. It's a subtle but potent difference. Some great places to share your content include Google+, Reddit, Facebook groups, and forums. Another big tip, be active in these communities and make sure that you aren't only posting when you want something. Iteration. 
The iteration cycle in business is the process of subtly tweaking your product over time in order to perfect it in response to market feedback. The point I'm making here, though, is that you don't have to just release your article, then leave it at that. By tweaking it and improving it, you can ensure it's the best it can possibly be. Always up to date, which Google appreciates, and well suited to the audience reading it, and what they tell you they want from their article. Likewise, you can also keep selling older content. If you have evergreen posts on your site, then why not remind people they're there? Why not post them to forums, especially if something has happened to make your old content more timely or relevant? If you put lots of hard work into your content, there's no reason to share it just once and then forget about it. Keep on posting and repost.